by Cruel World. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to take a look at some amazing details in DayZ. Those of you that have been around for a while or watched my channel uh, quite a bit, you'll know most of these, if not all, of these amazing details. Sometimes you may not know them, but if there is some that I mention here uh, that, that you haven't seen, leave a like. And uh, if you know any more that I haven't mentioned in this video, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to do a Amazing Details in DayZ Episode 2, Part 2. And with all that being said, let's kick things straight off with a decomposing corpse. Oh, demonetization, here we come. <laughs> Kirk was here to help me and took a bullet to the brain, the cranium. But uh, yeah, it takes about 10 minutes for flies to appear around the body and it's audible as well so you can hear the flies. And I guess with this, you'll be able to either find your corpse, I guess, a bit easier by the audio of the flies uh, 10 minutes later. And 20 minutes after the flies, you will decay. And uh, then obviously the next stage will be your body disappearing. Of course, somebody just roaming the forest could stumble across your body via the visual flies flying around or the buzzing sound of the flies and steal all your loot before you get back. It's a really nice addition to Daisy and a step, again, that the developers didn't necessarily need to take. Uh, to immerse yourselves and gross you out in DayZ. Now that is going to become a bit of a theme in the video, not the gore, uh, uh, well, maybe, but mostly the developers go in that one step beyond where you'd necessarily think they would take it in DayZ. You'd expect that from maybe a larger AAA company, say making Call of Duty or a single player campaign where that just uh, um, immense detail is put into your experience. But these smaller details, some of them are small, some of them are smaller than others. So you, know, you might think, oh, that's not that amazing. Like, for instance, uh, at the shotgun, you can uh, load one shotgun shell if you want by just tapping the reload button, which is R on PC, or I believe Y or triangle on console, and press and hold the reload button to enter the two shells. Double tap quickly, and you will eject the shells altogether, which I didn't know you could actually do, load in a single shell to the double barrel shotgun. I thought was quite a nice detail and something, well, maybe a tip for you guys, do a quicker reload rather than the two shells, a quicker one shell reload. And also, when you eject your rounds, they do make a different sound depending on the surface you're stood on. So, grass would make a grass sound, concrete would make a concrete sound, wood, metal, and even water. Have a listen. But of course, these aren't the only details in the audio in DayZ. If you put on a motorcycle helmet that covers your entire face, you'll hear it in your character as well with its breathing, feeding, drinking. But when another player also wears a motorcycle helmet, it will muffle their voice as if they are actually wearing a helmet in real life. And, you know, it, it makes for a nice little uh, bit of immersion extra on top of the usual stuff. Hi there, young man. Did you know, you know the way to Berkeley, or what about handcuffing and gagging a player with a rag? Uh, it really muffles their voice even more as if they've got a rag in their mouth and they can't tell you to uncuff them and don't kill them. You can't understand them. You have to take it off to, to hear them. And then if you're feeling nice like me, you can uncuff them and let them free. I can't get loose. Thank you, good sir. Glad there's still some nice people left in the world. And carrying on our theme with audio, if you go inside a building and outside, there is a noticeable difference, a bit more of a reverb and echo of indoors, especially when firing a weapon. It kind of like suppresses the sound a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't have the space to travel as if he was out in the open. Uh, of course, I'll do some examples here of inside and outside against some infected. Again, a small difference to audio that makes a big change in the grand scheme of things. You'll be able to tell whether a gun's fired indoors to outdoors, uh, you know, which is a, an addition on top of directional sound and things like that, of course. And while we're firing our weapon at some infected, why not check out the jamming of a weapon? If you're around my channel a lot or you're a long-time DayZ player, I'm sure you'd have run into the jamming of your firearm, which not only is audible by the clicking of your firearm and no round being fired, 
You can also see the shell of a round jammed into the slide of your weapon. For instance, here we're using the FNX 45. And when you press and hold the reload button, which is R, triangle or Y on console, as we mentioned before, your character will do a nicely detailed animation to unjam your weapon, giving it a little slap, a little love tap, and pulling that, that shell out and uh, checking the chambers clear again, ready to fire more. Of course, you want to make sure your weapon is in tip-top shape with a weapon repair kit, which is uh, just a little box you'll find in the world. I won't spoil too many things for you if you're a new player, but these are just little details you want to keep an eye out for. And our final amazing detail for today is something we've had a lot of experience with on our own community servers it is a cold, catching a cold. If you get too cold, you will catch a cold. Uh, go figure. And you'll be able to spread that to other players if you start sneezing, coughing near those they will then catch it and they can spread it. And funny story, true story, we had a bit of a pandemic on our community servers when we had the first look and exclusive of the traders on our server, our modded server. People started going to the trader, getting a cold, passing it to the next person, and eventually it spread and the whole server got infected with this cold and people were struggling to survive. So we had to do kind of like a, a wipe, I believe, if I remember correctly, to kind of purge this cold, this flu from the server, which is a very nice detail, but there is a visual to when you're getting cold now. Not only will your temperature on your HUD at the bottom right of your screen change and signify that you're either getting too hot, cold, or you're just right, but your character will also shiver. And these animations will differ depending on the items in your hand. Of course, letting you know that things are about to go down and your whole squad's gonna get the sniffles. But hey, flues aside, if you want to join us on our official community servers, we do have two new servers powered by Nitrado. One PC, Livonia, 24-hour day, first person, and one Xbox, Chernerus, 24-hour day, first person only, as well as our modded community server run by Drakitor, which also includes the exoskeleton mod that we showed off in the last video. All the information you need to join our official DayZ community servers are in our official Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. Of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't forget to give me any tips on other amazing details in DayZ, visual, audio, or otherwise. Uh, there's probably loads I missed. I knew this is the video that I said I wanted to get done, and I deleted the footage. Uh, I, I know there was loads of things I wanted to do. I did record a lot of footage with Metman, and when I had a clean out, I deleted all the footage. I'm really frustrated, and I've, I've, you know when they have that feeling that you know something, but you can't, it's at the tip of your tongue, the tip of your brain, and it, it's not there. You can't say it, you can't think of it, and it's really frustrating. That's what I'm having right now with the ideas of details for this video. There was so much, I know there was. So if you could just tickle my brains, my memories, uh, the little feelers in there, uh, with your comments below, if you've got any others for a possible future video, we get enough make another video and maybe hopefully entertain people inform people of the uh, amazing details in day z because you know we gotta let the world know leave a like if you enjoy the content i create in this video and hit dislike four times if you just didn't find any of these amazing and don't forget to let me know in the comments below subscribe if you enjoyed the channel and want to want to see more and hit that notification bell apparently that's a must now uh, instead of just subscribing you gotta notify as well Psh, youtube am i right <laughs> i love y'all and i'll see you peeps next time.